Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Um, first things first, this is a remake of a video that I posted a couple days ago. Somebody pointed out that the mouse pointer wasn't showing up, which is unfortunate because I was referring to it a lot, saying, look up here, look down here. So if you watch that, I apologize. Um, if you got the gist of it, don't bother watching this again. But if you haven't seen it, this will be better. Um, so a few weeks ago, I posted a video about using the arpeggiator within Bitwig Studio and somebody asked a question in the comments about how do you use swing or shuffle with the arpeggiator. So I thought that was a great question and I wanted to answer it real fast. So I've got just a harp sound going here with the arpeggiator added. got it set on eighth notes I can maybe take that up to sixteenths okay so within Bitwig Studio what you need to do is enable the groove or the shuffle so that's that button right there how I got it there if you don't see it on your toolbar up there is if you click play down here in the groove section enable groove I've just got this thumbtack so I've got it pinned to my main toolbar there. But you can see when I enable shuffle, enable groove, sorry, then it gives me the options down here. So um, it'll give me, for example, 50% shuffle, and then you can choose the rate, whether it's eighth notes or 16th notes. So I've got it set on 50% 16th notes. The other thing you have to do though, once you have that enabled is down here in your arpeggiator, make sure that this little button here is turned on too that's off, that's on. And that way you enable groove within the arpeggiator itself. Otherwise it'll just ignore whatever you have for your groove settings up here. So once you do that, let's just take this all the way down to zero and I'll let, turn it up and let you listen to what it does. can change it okay so depending on the field that you're after you can change those settings either like I said eighth notes or sixteenth notes and then the amount of the shuffle um, and then just down here make sure that um, what you're doing corresponds of course it doesn't have to you could do like that. Okay, so add a beat behind that and you've got something. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down in the comments section below. If you like this or if it was useful, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't done it yet, please go to my website, bishopswest.com and go to slash a bitwig setup to download um, a free guide to accelerate your music making in bitwig studio like i've told you before it's just a few easy steps to speed things up for making music when you're in bitwig studio so yeah go get it hope that was helpful and i will talk to you guys next time thanks